started at the east. Rabbi Meir Omer, it's very fascinating, new concept in the next mission. Rabbi Meir Omer, Kala Isik Batoyo Lishma Zorichet Lefbarim Hashem. This is very fascinating. Usually I could say, if I to ask you, who do you think is the people, are the people who learn Torah Lishma? I would say, it's probably the Balabatim. They have no ambition to become Rashi Yeshiva or Rabbi Do it because this is part of the menu of the Yid. Is to learn Torah, and that's Torah the Shema. It's the highest level. Because, I mean, you're know, thinking about learning Torah, you don't think about, okay, I'm going to become a role of the Shema, I'm going to learn Shema, I'm going to learn Shema, I'm going to learn Shema, you don't think of that. You think, I'm going to learn because that's what I have to be connected to Torah. I need to be a good Yid, I have to be an authentic Yid, and for that I need to be constantly engaged in this. Now, what's most prominent that you have to remember is that the concept of Torah being the most important thing in your life does not mean that you spend the most time on it. That the converse is not true. For example, on Yom Kippur, Suli is sitting in Shul. That's 2 o'clock. That's when the hunger pack stuff to me. You look at this, that's 6 hours. Next day, I look again to 35 and a half hours. The countdown starts. Somebody would stop you right there and say, so we want to ask you a question. Is food the most important thing in your life? No, nah, I'm just hungry now. Right? In other words, what you necessarily need right now may not be the most important thing. So with your, you need to make, you have to make money now, you have to sit and work, you have to work, and you have to work to make a living. It may not be the most important thing. The, the, right, the that you'll learn tonight or tomorrow will, could be the most important thing. The stream of energy, of life's energy, to you, the kihem chayenu of life, could be tolerated even if you're on a half hour of the day. You're on the bus, a mission a day on the bus, halacha day on the bus. That that stream of life could be the most important thing to you, though you unfortunately, you know, you say that's the greatest thing you do a day is to go to work? No. no. But this is actually going to turn. It becomes a test when you start making money over the top. It's not making a lot of money. That's why this is the sign of wealth is greater than the sign of poverty. Mayor High Blood writes <coughs> in this parak here that this, the test of wealth is much greater than the test of poverty. But what can you do, you poor? I mean, so it's <laughs> you have no joy, but it depends on Hashem. And, yeah. and wealth is the good responsibility. Yeah, responsibility, not to, to be able to keep on going and not like and still keep the focal point of your life. What's the most important thing in my life? Not the meeting I'm going to have tomorrow with, with Obama, because I'm, I'm a prominent guy, I'm a billionaire. But me, what's that mean about Obama? I, I know that I, in Kenya, I had, there was a yeshiva, a very hush of a yeshiva, that were getting Balabatin to come to, the, to a closed door meeting with President Clinton. And there were 140 people invited. Each one had to pay $25,000 for this. Covered. <laughs> Three hours, Clinton agreed to do it. I probably paid him something, whatever it was. He agreed to meet these people from New Jersey. I counteracted it. You know that I mean, they kind of, they make too much noise. Okay. I invited a Feinstein down, paid $100 for meeting, and took pictures. Took pictures everybody, he had just took five, ten minutes for Feinstein. <laughs> took pictures. And wanted to make, rather than having talked to, to a, somebody who may be a wonderful president, but he was. A, he was what he was, Clinton, and we charged $120 for <laughs> the meeting. Him and us, you and your wife, together. <laughs> go talk to him, go talk to him. So the concept would inspire me. How could he sit and tell somebody, want to get God's like to come to Israel, sit down for what? I mean, Clinton is a very important person, his brothers may come. Normally a king who has complete exclusive power to put somebody to death, make a, make a blessing on them. A blessing in Gomorrah. Clinton doesn't have that. He has to have a Congress. He has to have, you know, Senate, 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 so on so I just try to share with you what it says. People learn Torah the Shema. But now the word Oisit the Torah the Shema involved. Let's say we're learning Bukhiyavis. And I know that Elio, Eli and um, Shuli, Yanni, they're really listening and they're cautious of the question. They go back and they feel they, got a, they had a thought came from the, the Sweden, <coughs> the Bible Chavis. That's called Isaac. 
you go like this, you're learning like this, you're falling asleep, and you can hear the person snoring. Okay? Or even like that, but you know, like he's reading it, like you like need to tell him, that's not Oisik. The Taz says, in the Arachayim, we deliberately say the Baruch at the time of the morning, it's last like the given time, to be involved, to be engaged in the time. Whether, again, whether it's 15 minutes, an hour, half hour, or two hours, whatever, you have to be last like, it can't be just, it could be, who do you think is the bigger master? Somebody who learns uh, seven hours, 60 minutes, Somebody who learns 12 hours, 50 minutes. Because in this case, clearly, the one who learns 7 hours, 60 minutes, is a bigger, more diligent student than the one who learns 10 hours, 50 minutes. Because the broken upness of this learning that the person has, when he kinds of is a design, it's an embarrassment to tell him. No respect to tell him. Then, you know, you take a nap, I should roll, let's choose a little Lush and Hara, a little Prime Lush and Hara, a little Better Lush and Hara, some Pepper on Lush and Hara, all kinds of, yeah, you tell <coughs> That is not Shtayg Hasmodi. Hasmodi means you don't stop. They say that the Vishal Salamta, Sikhwazil Zisil Kelm, would learn seven hours straight in the morning. After, after his first Hashachus, after his breakfast, he learned seven hours without stop. Can you imagine that? That's something impressive. That's called Oisik being involved. So again, it could be an hour and be concentrating and learning. And be involved. I'd rather say something over a Hazar and learn it and understand it, then rather than cover as much ground as it can. Right, just that that's, yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> that, that's not called ISIC. That's right. not called ISIC. Right? It depends on the person's comprehension. Well, if the person comprehends everything and focus totally in this, you know, even on, on a peripheral basis, that's, because a Balmaj is a miracle man, it shouldn't be in this, it should be in a Balmaj. special, special bottle that people should look at him and catch on to it. Amen. I'm all colored, yeah. Okay, anyway, let's go by to so what are the things that they that Zeichel and Tvarim had? And what are those things that he merits? The light oid, Allah shakala oilam kulay kedahimla. The whole world is for that person created, and that person learns Torah the Shema. Learns Torah because Hashem loves people who learn Torah. No other reason. Not that I love Hashem, that will give me a job. What is he called? Nikra Reya. He's called a friend. People like him. He's called a friend to everybody. Torah the Shema. What happens when a person learns Torah because he wants to be. I want to be the God Lador. So he wants to be over, above somebody else. You can't have oh, every, every person in member Christ is a God Lador, right? It has to be somebody who's greater than somebody else. So, but somebody who's Tel Shema, who doesn't have no agenda, so he's a friend to everybody because he doesn't view himself as someone who has an agenda of being a God Lador, the Rome of the city. <laughs> you know, again, he's not, he's, not, he's not an authority to be over somebody else. Oh, who he's loved. Now here, a kind of legend asks the obvious question. Now, this is a very powerful question. It has psychological... Uh, I, think, uh, I think it has some sort of psychological dimension to it. Because why is it so important? What's the big deal of being loved? What does that, that mean, being loved? So, so the kind of legend says it must be that we learn from here that it's a, it's a mitzvah, it's a good Indian, call it, not a mitzvah. It's, it's the Ratzon Hashem that people should try to be loved. Why? Because he says there's another part of Torah unrelated to this that's very important. You cannot learn only if you're a reya, you're a oho, when you're a oho, you're not loved. You can't learn how to be kind of mitzvah, but have to learn how to be loved if you're not loved. If you don't know what love means, how can you love somebody else? It's only when a person is loved other people, he learns how to, at a young age, he learns how to, how to love. Otherwise, you could, you could think that it's loving when you make some fun of you, rebuke somebody, you make fun of them, and, um, and play a joke on someone, and as, as you know, you think it's, ah, I'm so close to you, you know, I would do it to nobody else. You know, but yeah, I know you understand it, so I, I, can, I can embarrass you. With your <coughs> mm-hmm. Right? Oh, yeah, it's how welcome. This person ends up with learning Torah Lishma. He ends up liking God because he doesn't have any agenda that wasn't yet, expectation that wasn't met yet in his, in his learning. I, I learn Torah every day, I do your mitzvah, I love Hashem. Yeah. It's all finished. Oye Vesabrias, like he loves people because he's, he's, he's not in, in envious of everybody. Because let him be Rosh Hashir, let him be God, let him be who knows, whatever the door requires to have a leader of. Let him be. Oye Vesabrias, he likes people. But there's even more here. It says, give something more. 
It's mashma from this mission of the others that there is a special um, virtue in loving Brios, even Goy. And the Shalak Kodesh writes the same thing. I agree. I'm not saying you have to love them like your own brothers. Well, you didn't love them like your own brothers. It's more like a respect. Yeah, and it says this in Perky Avos. <clears throat> so it's uh, it's always a breeze, and it's a lovely breeze. It's not my chat. It's not. It's not Rabbi, do you give a big tip to your I do. to your barber? I do, and not to your uh, chaver who's in business. Or no, no. I said, Only certain businesses you give tips, Habibi. I don't know about Habibi. I know that that those businesses that you give tips to, you should give a yitz to get more. Your brother, this is not somebody who's, who's a, you know. You don't give tips in the soup business. Uh, who said it? Who said I wanted tips? I'm just saying, in a business they give tips, like a barber. I don't give my tailor a tip. What? You don't give You're tips right. to a tailor. He includes it in the price because yeah. you don't even ask. To I, I give whatever I, it is. Uh, I, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have a maintenance man up in Fullsburg that I give it to, to all the time. Anytime there's a balloon. Yeah, you give him a tip because you want to make sure that uh, <clears throat> he's watching oh, the fork. No, it's common decency. Yeah. No, I feel the person charging for the labor. He doesn't charge. Let me ask you, do you? I'm sorry. He doesn't charge you for the sweat. It's the hot day. He doesn't charge you for the sweat when he's cleaning up the pond and he's dripping over the thirst that he has it after the day. He doesn't ask for one. He doesn't charge you. So I go to, you know, I show my person tell you the things that he doesn't ask for. I give him an extra twenty dollars. Hey, That's what I'm about. I agree, Rabbi. Saying, so when you give your tip, you give uh, more or less, like let's say it costs you twenty dollars, like you said. You give him a twenty dollar tip. No, 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 do it. I'm saying say if, if it costs you like twenty dollars, you don't give the guy twenty dollars. What's that? You give four or five dollars, and you want to give him. If it costs you, if it costs you ten dollars, you don't give him a ten dollar tip. Right. You would say that. What the, the point? The point is that my, my car's a tov. The person that I give a tip to is, it, it gets a uh, charges me sixty dollars. $80. I give it $20. $80. I give it to you. Benjamin and that other. I give it $20. The Benjamin is Benjamin. I know about $20. I don't look like it, but I, give, I think I'm giving you $20. I don't look like it. Plus, he gives it $80. And then. Well, you pay for the money. service. And then I want to show you. So the is, is the. I'll uh, check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oi, the Samea has a mockum. You want to look at the other thing? Yeah, yeah, I just uh, yeah. I really have in mind to. Uh, I have another one here, so you can look at him again. I always ask that. Oye is Hamokum. He said he loves a Kaddish Baruch. Oye is a He has no profile to maintain. And therefore, a person learns Torah the Shmuel like that Yaakov, come to learn Ayyah. Is that, you're not planning on becoming a yeshiva or, or, or a mashgiach, a big yeshiva. You're learning to learn the Some people, because my connection to the is added, there's an added dimension to it by the fact that I'm learning to That's the shmuel. Bala Bakhtin learned to learn the Unless it's a social thing. Sometimes you have, you know, I have to go because he's there, and I have to, I'm not sure if there's not to be in But in this crowd, that's not, I have that problem. So, that, that, it's most of the time it's that way. It's, 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 it's hard to be. versus somebody who wants to be. Yeshiva light that are, are in a contest. Who's going to be a big gun than the other? I mean, always, always, is that really so? Is that, is, that, is that how it is? I'm not saying it always is. No, but you, you take even Chavetz Chaim, for example, yeah. the Yeshiva the, the Chavetz Chaim, yes. where they breed, where they breed, you know, the Mismachim to go out into the field and, and do something. And it's enough, right? Are they really competing for who's going to be, who's going to have the bigger yeshiva, who's going to have the better yeshiva? And if that's the case, is that something that's, is that, is that an okay thing? I think so, Kosh. To want to have the bigger yeshiva, like well, I don't, I don't think guys, anybody, so, like a business, business, in the business, everyone, you know, in the business, with the, the, you know, take any business, the real estate business, and the clothing business, and the home care business, and the jewelry business, they want to, they want to, uh, you know, everyone wants to have a bigger business than their chav, right? Right. That makes them go they want to have. They want to. Not that they, the dafka a bigger business. In their in their industry, they want to, they want to be the best in their industry. And there's nothing wrong with that. Striving for excellence. But that's life. But in the my, my point, my question is, is as, just like it is in business, where everyone in their own industry strives ex for excellence and to be not for the other guy to be the downfall, but to be better than everybody else. 
Is there anything wrong with 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 with, wrong. With, 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 with with somebody who's going out there and wants to big build a bigger yeshiva with you know and raise more money than any other yeshiva and I, I, I never said that anything was wrong. We just said I'm that asking. I'm asking. asking. I'm asking. Here's what I'm saying. I'm answering you. I think I can say the best way I can answer you is with the, with, the, with you know Jews answer questions with questions, right? Right. So you know why, right? Why? Somebody asked his friend, "Why do Jews answer questions with questions?" Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was good. <laughs> anyway, 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 anyway um, very good. But the question is, is that if I have to look at the two people, one is learning Torah, teaching Torah, teaching Torah the Shema, because I want to do the Abraham's will. Hashem wants me to be connected to Torah. That's so I don't, I don't have no ambition. I'm ego. I'm ego. No, sorry about this. I'm egoless. Totally egoless. Reverse to somebody who does has an ego and some agenda involved. The agenda is not a, it's a coach agenda. The way it's coach, I have a shiva, be a rog, be a shiva, be a tamalach, a mufalag. It's a coach agenda. But it's not as chashiv as the shmo of somebody who's only learning from terrible one person. So no, no, it's not wrong. But it doesn't weigh to the level that it does in somebody who's terrible. Hashem wants me to learn, and whatever it is, I'm the level of the Chazanish Chaz said about himself, since he was age of 13 years old, he only learned terrible shmo. Huge statement. Right. Yeah, every time, I mean, every it's second temple is, right? It's funny, you have to like, imagine that there have been times where there have been some of the that only went to the Shema, and some of the burning Torah Shema that became what it became, without having these. Right, but that's what I have plan. Yeah. yeah. I must tell you, that's why the Chazal say, and, and, and the Chaim Lodge encourages it. The Moshe says in Psach and a few other places, the Oilam Yilma and other Psyche, the Oilam Yilma and Torah Shema and Shema. Why? Learning not the Shema comes with Shema. See, so there's a guy who uh, uh, talks about it. I moved before that and says, Why is it all the time you learn to learn the Shema? He said, So, the Chaim Lodzim says, You are Chaim, I bet you have it. He says, Because you're supposed to do that. You can't go jump with Shema right away. You can't. It's not China. In Yeshiva, you want to get the test, the highest mark, you want to be the best band class. So, there's a certain level. Eventually, you come with Shema, right? Right. but you have, you have to, in other words, and Tosha says in Brachas, that love the Shema is only kosher if it's in his personal incentive. Let's put the other guy down. The Lord says, a person who has tried love the Shema should, should be aborted when he's a fetus. Should be what? Aborted? He should have been aborted when he's a fetus. Wow. That's interesting, Uncle Lynn. I, I find it interesting because there are people that start, they get hooked on to learning Torah, because of the, because of the, oh, because of the, because of the, yeah, there's a word, I mean, that is, that's because right. of the, behind it, the intellect, the intellect behind it, the, the intellect behind it. It, it, it makes no sense to me that if somebody's going to get hooked on to the intellect aspect, the male, once they're learning the Torah, they're, first of all, they're smart, that's why they're getting hooked on to the intellect aspect, Torah's MS, so it, it, the intellect has to be, right? The cool. intellect is, 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 is so, it's, it's, it, it's, I think there's so much it's so death. satiable, you want it, right? Yeah. So, like, so the thing is, if somebody gets hooked onto the intellect, the male, once they're learning, once you learn the Etzem Torah, Beautiful. Beautiful. the Torah is, it teaches you Anava, it teaches you right. to enjoy it and Beautiful. to become That's what the close to Hashem. Learning the Shema, you come to the Shema, you come to the Shema. Amen. Amen. So, the Rosh in the Dharam says, what's the Chat Shema? Rashi says Pshat is that you learn Torah. I mean, you do it because for the sake of the covet of the Abish Now well, let me explain to you something what that means. I'm not what the Rosh says. What other drink? Are you happy to drink? Is this my water? Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Rosh in the Durham says something very powerful. But I'll first tell you what. what um, um, the Rosh says that the Rosh says in the Durham, the Shmach means the Hoysik Lekach. <coughs> to become oh. the Shmon, exactly that said. The Shmon means to, to become smarter and have more wisdom. That's the Shmon. Exactly what Yaakov said. To grasp the intelligence of the Torah, that is the Shmon. That's just that to do what Shem wants you to do. You so try listen. hard, you try hard to understand the depth of it. You can fight it, go fight it, go in. It's going to sink you. Even if it's for an hour a week, or for a half hour a week. That half hour, you go depth, you go fight it, you go deeper and deeper into it. That's called according to the Rashi and the Dara. So, that is a powerful thing to have, this, 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 this certificate of Torah to earn it. 
right? Having very small agenda, of just learning Torah and knowing it. You know, I said, why is a sh- why is Talmud Torah can make it cool? Why is it so 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 greater than so many other mitzvahs? Let me just give you a marshal, and then I think you'll figure this out by yourself. A man is coming home, he's driving home, he's married with three kids. He thinks tonight on the way home, this my life is such a good day today. I just uh, just uh, what can I pick up and probably make it easier for him to have me driving and thinking. He goes to the store, he picks up. Right. Breakfast for tomorrow, whatever, you know, it's like, it's easier for our milk and the eggs and everything else for tomorrow. And comes home, she's so thankful that he is. There's one big in my favor in that. person does that, plus, thinks, what is my wife thinking about that I'm thinking about now? What is she thinking about? Why don't know what's thinking about? I'm so connected to that, I wish I could figure out, what is she thinking about? That's the love of the love That's the love of the love What is the English girl thinking about? You learn Baba Kama, you learn Baba Matsiva, you learn Mishnah Iceberg, you learn other Mishnah Iceberg, you learn taking Hashem's thoughts. You want to know what does God think? You dig into God's thoughts, that's a whole new love, other new love affair. That it's, it, it goes beyond what just a plain, you know, utilitarian love affair is, you know, what can I do for her? What can, how can I help her? How can I make it easier for her? Here is, I just want to know, what is she thinking? Hashem, what are you thinking? That's the love of the that we have in Hashem. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm telling you. Cool it's the highest thing in the world. Okay. Then we'll go on to Umal Bashto, another figure. Like this said Yaakov said. For I must hear the whole month of Yaakov. He, he quoted for generations here. Umal mm-hmm. Bashto, another figure. And he's, he's guarded. He learns that way. He doesn't think so great about himself. He thinks about the Torah that he learned. And he becomes humble. We spoke about humility means. Humble means you know your weaknesses, you know your strengths. And it appears him to be a righteous man. For after what is a righteous man? A righteous man is this man who has everything weighed properly. Ram doesn't hold the side of somebody who's like, you know, this thing about, like, I'm not, I'm not chastising anyone. I'm not the one to do that. I don't deserve to do that. I had a tiger, I was in the Lower East Side. I had a tiger with Bill Feinstein. To what? I had a question to Bill Feinstein. I wanted to know if the Kedalim of the previous generations, the endowments for Ezra, and the Lord. But you look around some of the things, the movements, demonic movements in the shoe, the demons running around the room. He's like tight and just just wants to bust his eye. People look like they're, they're, they're having yeah, I mean that that's they, 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 they 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 yeah, you know what you can see the most? I'm it's sorry, but in Lakewood, you can see it the most. I mean all these shit well then they didn't even go to ph- pharmacologists. I mean they're basically it's scary. So I think but what's the reason like, what? what's yeah, I mean the, so so so, so yeah, a tzaddik is a person doesn't mean a person does that. Unfortunately, Eric Fram talks about religion. Has not a measurable item. So we have people who don't know the truth, but people who are saying, you see what happens? It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's it's beyond belief. It must be at a high level. You know? And maybe at a worse level. You know, just, oh, know, he has a really big service. Well, it's yeah. like, exactly. <laughs> but, but whatever it is, it's uh, Tzadik means, Tzadik means someone who is balanced. Chosid means, on occasion, when he doesn't, like, like Ramchal says, in the Sister Sharon, a person shouldn't look like he's crazy. He look at the people who say, you know, this guy's a really, really awful. Thing. The question is rather, if he's doing this, if he misses a minute and he's in his own home, and there's nobody watching him, is he still shocking him? The same way, and it's just all making all these Okay, okay, It's so interesting. You know, when I was in Florida, I don't know if I ever heard that in Florida for my second year of this movie. And it was, he had, he's a Dr. Alan Jacobs, I don't know if you ever heard of him. The name, I don't know who he is. He's a, well, right, he invented the portable dialysis machine. He, he was able to sit on that and go on and he dedicated like this whole day to learning in the machine. He got hooked from the Red in the community. It wasn't for him, but his whole family came from there. And this kid thought time here. There's also another doctor. His name is. Uh, 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 so, this he was the renowned, one of the most renowned urologists, in, definitely in Dade County, but 
in the entire region, very well known. And he had a like a ten million dollar home on the water in, in Collins Avenue. I know we used to go to his house. At least he he was a surgeon for urology he removed kids the most difficult cancers. But he didn't take insurance. He was a cash only doc, you know, cash only took some of the very high profile players. Fifteen to twenty grand in some some of these surgeries, one pop. He would do three of these a day. And he dedicated half his day to learning. And I got to learn with him three nights a week. I was I would learn because he was he used to come to Rabun by Shia. So Rabun Bat stuck him on me. Stuck me on him. And he he turned his head. house over his every he was everything was fun, I was going back to you could eat by him even, you know. So I went to his house on Shabbos. <clears throat> he invited me over. It, 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 just picture that perfect American, beautiful wife, very wealthy doctor, beautiful home, beautiful kids, the whole nine. And he lit, and he, they used to be part of a golf club, wasn't it? And he turned everything around to the Torah. And we were sitting in his den, in his study, and he had two humongous shelves, and it was layers of encyclopedia on, med on medicine. Magazine, thin paper, thousands of pages, each one, and one was from 20 years earlier, and one was two years ago. And he was explaining to me, and I, I told him, I said, do you know all this stuff in these books? Did you have to go through those echoes? I know every single thing, every single one of these books, but not only that. And then he opened up the bottom shelf, so you know, the other one was visible, and the bottom shelf was, a, a, a year ago he said, they came out with this, and it's all the robotic, and they knew all the new stuff. I had to catch and learn of all the new stuff. It was cover to cover. We were sitting alone in the toast with Exodus at the time. And I happened to have mastered that. That was that one toast I, I went over, and I used to work there. I learned with our black for Ian. So I had, it, I had it down pat. And he was the back and forth in the Havimina you know, Maskana. It was like so amazing. And when we were talking about, he was talking about you know, all these books. He said, it was Yaakov. He said, this one toast was, is so much more mind boggling than every single one. Far more complex. Together, together. With all the, take the amazing research and this and that. He goes to, to break down a toast was and, and have a, 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 you know, a Marsha and a, 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 a Ron play into, play into, and, 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 and try to understand it. N number of things. Was so, and, but he was, but he was the, uh, what you saw there also was, he also the intellect. Was, it's was intriguing to him. Right. It was intriguing to him. So good. So that, that's, that's not, like you said before, that's not a... It's not, it's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> but, but he also, like, he would learn Musser. I remember he would, remember, remember, he would learn Musser, Chavitz Chaim Seder. He would learn Rasil Sharm. And he, it, 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 he became very, like... He would go walk over. He would walk over to a, a ninth grader and ask a question. You know? That's it. So he would walk over to a ninth grader and ask a question. I remember a number of times hearing... I, when I used to learn at certain private Baba Batamo professors at university, I was learning them a certain Sigur of Marcus together, and they were telling me, I asked him a Vegas question, you know, and they said to me, Rabbi, I, got to, I must admit, I went to Brown University for five years, but I got to tell you that this is, hum this is a very humbling experience. <laughs> so for me, the big connector from Brown, like an Ivy League school, official Ivy League, one of the first Ivy League schools in America, that it, it should be like a... Uh, so humbling that you know not to understand it. I gotta kind of tell me again. I gotta to to hold his head, make sure he holds his helmet, hold hold on tight before he's taking for a ride. First, and then a third. Yeah, he's so and, and, yeah, and that, that made him more intrigued. So how come I can't understand it? Like you know, he realized that it was very humbling, and that's why he dove much more into learning. He retired, and then he moved to Israel, and he's just learning. And he finished shots. I'm not saying that he's even, but he finished shots. They're dry, the thirst, the knowledge. He's humbled <coughs> by this humble experiences of learning in Kivega on the place of the Rashi and the Gemara that we learn in the Makkah. Anyway, yeah. let's go a little further. Um, my bashed out another the year, means all for the English, that Machshat is Tzadik Chosid Yoshar the Neamon. Rashi says Yoshar, actually, Rashi says in kindness, a person who doesn't touch a penny of someone else's money. Yoshar the Neamon, and he's also trustworthy. And when he gives you word, there's some people, a Kabach after once told me, some people whose word is like a gilim, it's a revelation on the rots and toiv, on a good <coughs> attention. And some people's will, you can put your deposit in the bank. <laughs> some people, you can take the word, the deposit in the bank. The name of is totally Erlach, Morachak Toi Menachem. There's a powerful Rambam, the end of Marcus. 
I'm going to say it like this. A person learns Torah on the Shema, one that does like that, one bit from the Shema, I like that. He, he is Zaychet Elim Hadar. It dispels much of sin in his life. When you learn one mitzvah, let's say Krishna, you the Shema. It's like the Abish, not because my wife can yell at me, not because my kid has to see me do it, but I do it because it's the Shema. I want to do it, the Abish told me to do it. The Karafta in the Schus, he has a lot of opportunities for helping other people, you know, he likes helping. Here's the best one, Papa. In the Hemim, the Menu, Eitzo, Tashir. The person I tell the Shema, people come to that person to ask him an Eitzo advice. Because he cultivated so much of this lack of agenda in his being. And it is also lack of agenda. He goes a road, she I mean, I don't know him that well. The one thing I see about that, which I really, really, really appreciate, has one of the greatest, biggest key programs in the world. Thousands of people who does not see them all. Huge, 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 huge bunch of millions and gazillions about the dollars, Europe, France, all over America. He hires literacy guys to help him. And they do not have a dozy issue of the molecule. He sends them to Chabetz Chaim. He would send them to learn in Chaim Berlin. He sends them, it's not, not like in the Chabad, I don't know what the reason is, but Chabad says everybody to Chabad. You don't have to, you have to go to Chabad. Even if I would connect, go, 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 go uh, try to go teach in, you know, in college campus, I'd work at the guy to come to Koyaku. You know, you know. <laughs> it's a, I, I saw this about the dog, and I said, this is an amazing, this is, an, I'm so this is a big man, a, a big thinker. Klai Shah belongs to everybody, and therefore we're responsible for everybody. So what he goes to, go, goes to or Shemeyach, he goes to Bells, or he goes to Yankel, he goes to this one, to that one. As long as he becomes the El Chayyid, that's my job. But not everybody is cut out for one specific way. Oh, yeah, if they were. There's something wrong with me, me encouraging you to go wherever, he, wherever he's going to grow. He's going to grow it. For himself, the best. Right? Clyde Shaw belongs to everybody. It doesn't belong to me. I'm not in charge of Clyde Shaw. Well, you go here, you go there. I'm here to help Clyde Shaw. So, in the head of the when a person learns to learn to learn the Shema, and he cultivates that part of his no question that a person has people in the head of him that ate some Tushiyah. Bina and Gvura, they don't have to become strong, they're not afraid to say what the because they have no agendas. All these things are unbelievable. They have, you know, what Tadash Shema teaches you, but all they encounter is the Ennis. And what, what did they be afraid of other than the Ennis? Ennis, I'll say the Ennis. Okay, let's go now to the uh, next Mishnah. Amar Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi. Yoyim v'yoyim Basco. Basco. What does Basco mean? Normally, what does Basco mean? Heavenly voice. Heavenly voice into heaven. Tell us young in the last days of the Nibamas asked the question, why do you call it a Basco in the feminine? Why do you call it a Benko? What's a Basco? The question is, no. Let's tell us young to the Nibamas. The side of Mishnah is there. He says, he says, he saw the key, he saw the kick out of this. Because a Ben, Men are strong, women are weak. It's a weak voice, it's a basco. <laughs> you say Benko, it's a strong voice. It's a, it's, a ben, it's a whisper, it's a whisper. The whisper comes out of Hachor and says, we we'll wanted the world for the, for the abuse of Torah. We we'll want it's a whisper. It's not a Ben call which goes, dark. <laughs> it's a basco. You know? Under the radar. She calls, exactly. She calls me, she ain't the Isaac Torah. Nikra Nozov, he's, 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 he's actualized. The person, that has to show up every single minute of the day. And once you write to Chuda, there's nothing I wrote about in one of the emails that the Major was told, there's nothing wrong with working to become rich. As long as you're involved in working, you can But when you have it, you have to dedicate time to learning also. And when you dedicate that learning, you have to, you have to learn properly. Don't, don't dedicate to like the last minute of the day when you, you, go, you go always horizontal, you know, halfway in the middle of that. If you have to get the car, you have to do that. You're able to have your own business, you have to get up in the morning a half hour earlier, not a half hour fresh, you're still fresh. Wake up, your eyes are like sparkling, you know, then you learn to hop around and learn, then that's better than coming at night and learning at night and going like, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I, I mean, look in the mirror, I think of like, I share these mock style people, like, you know, I get lights around, I get lights around. I think that I put the lights out because they're, they're gone, they're sleeping. Okay. Shinema Nezem Zor be Abchazir Ichi Yorup Yorup of a sort of town. Amen. Luchos Masi or Kim Hena. We have to appreciate that Tyre is Mamish, God's gift. Right? Shailucha Ben Chayim El Misha Isipatam Tayre. True free person 
is one who was involved that moment, those days, those years, the involved in Talmud Torah. Because our promise is somewhere else that Hashem well, removes nothing but birds to learn Torah. And except the yoke of Torah, all the other birds. Why? Because he doesn't need much. He has cucumber. The herring. Right? Why? Because he doesn't need much. He has cucumber. But a herring. He, has, he loves his Torah. I mean, so why, why do I have to have a guy? Yeah. You know, I love watching people sitting by a menu. It me happen. Some they study the menu that they study, like, you know, for, 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 a, for a college exam. But I want a good fries, I want onion rings, and that, that, the crust, and the crust. Who's soft, or I want it not so soft? I want it a little bit of a dentine, or not a little bit of a I might have to remove the dark in the bottom, or not. A lot of people I, like I, this. I think to myself, like, I, just, I can't imagine you wasting your energy on a hot dog, sitting there spending 20 minutes trying to figure out what kind of hot dog they like. Well, because of the menu, like people looking at Which the sauce is they going to put on the, the, the sandwich? The <clears throat> and, you know, I, mean, uh, I wasn't brought up to a yak, so I can't. I, I, we brought, my mother put food in front of us, and they started. I was also like that, but I mean, you know. I can express my mind. Rock I like it more. Like uh, but. In today, 2013, that's not even a chazan. It's like it's a technical bit of fun to eat. It's really good. You have to take six different times for dinner. You know? Right, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Okay, so let's go. She'en l'cha ben chayim on lish ayzik b'tayr. He's free from all these stupid things in the menu and in the city. The chayim lish ayzik b'tayr b'tayr ha'reza was alayin. And his chayim was up above and beyond. Okay, so I'm going to stop here today. And um, we'll hopefully, I want to just... Uh,